Hello everybody, this is David and I show you the Avid. Back in Media Composer 7, now you see the imported Ruby files here in the, the Avid bin. Back to the import settings, I just want to show you, here's the window, you select your file, and here you can select where to save it and the video resolution. The advanced settings you find here on the options and I show you later on in another tutorial. If you have the movie files here, for example Yellow Butterfly, then you can open it here in this viewer window. You can go through it with the mouse or you can press play. Then it flies away. So you can just go through the timeline here and of course with other tracks also and if you want to edit it you need a sequence so you go right click new sequence and there is a new symbol a new icon and you call it the name this is the avid sequence and uh, it's all already opened here, you see it here in the timeline window. And now I can, when I select a nice part of this clip, for example when the butterfly flies away, I put an in. I can click here on the in. And when it's gone, it's leaving the frame picking out. So now you marked which part of the clip you want to import. And then you can import it with splice in or override. In this case it doesn't matter because the sequence is empty. Click on override. Now you see this part is here in the sequence. Again watch it. It's the same. So I import it again, so we have two times the same video. Now you see it's orange here because it's double, because I activated the dupe detection. But I show you later on in another tutorial. And now I open the red snail, go through it, this is a nice frame. Put in, put out. The keyframes for that I'll show you also afterwards. I go in the middle of the clip and I snap to the beginning. The control key, I hold the control key pressed, so I'm here. And now I want this between these both clips. That's why we use the splice in. You see? It's in. And this clip is without sound, so we have only the video in here. I will now create a new video spot, as you see here, a video track. So I can move this track easily above that. I'll just drag and drop it wherever I like. But I also can, for example, flowing water. Just take a bit of this. And now I can select where to put it when I want to import it. So these are the import tracks, video 1, audio 1, audio 2. And I say, okay, I want audio video 1 to go on video track 2. And the others go down here. And import it from here on. And I do an in, in the sequence here now with the mouse. Show you later on how to use it 
how to, how to use the keyboard for that. And now, again, overwrite, splice in, splice in, it means makes it in between from here. And overwrite means it overwrites it. I'll show you now. Now you see, no red snail anymore, but the water and the sound. The track is on track 2, the audio is here. So always be careful what you select here, because it can be confusing. You always check or uncheck what you already need. So, so far I wish you much pleasure with this project and with Avid. See you next time. Yours, David. Thank you.